so we so here we are covering the antrum test for the divergence test it's a divergence test for the series as we know that if limit n tends to infinity of a n is not equal to 0 or the limit does not exist then we can say that the series must diverge just note it down and if n tends to infinity of a n is equals to 0 series could diverge or converge it may be diverges or converges if equals to 0 but we can't say that the it always have diverge or converge if it equals to 0 so here are some examples which we are doing for the antrum test for the convergence and the divergence so here is the series and we are just looking in the first example which is Here we can divide numerator and denominator by n square. So we get limit n tends to infinity. Here we can cancel n as limit n tends to infinity we know that the if limit x tends to infinity and 1 by x we can say that it's 0 so we can put the values we get 1 minus 3 by infinity plus 7 by infinity upon my 4 minus 2 by infinity plus 1 by infinity so minus 1 by minus 3 by infinity is 0 plus 7 by infinity is 0 and 4 minus 2 by infinity is 0 and 1 by infinity is also 0 so we get value 1 by 4 which is not equals to 0 so we can say that say that the series the series n equals to 1 to infinity n square minus 3n plus 7 plus 4n square plus 2n diverges diverges this series is diverges here uh, here is a formula if limit n tends to infinity a n is not equals to 0 or limit does not exist then the series must diverge here is the example so just take a look once again the example is n square minus 3 n plus 7 4 n square minus 2 n plus 1 1 minus n we divide it by n square in both denominator and numerator and we get this here the value is 1 by 4 which is not equal to 0 we can say that the series must diverge and second example, second example here we are going to solve So, limit n tends to infinity So, as we all know that this is the identity We can say that 
it is a e keep e keep power 1 exponent as we know that it is not equals to 0 so the series diverges 